Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. In Dorico 4.3, available now, we've made yet more improvements to our new key editor that can be found both in play mode and also in write mode alongside the notation, as well as a whole host of usability improvements, including the ability to stack up any number of editors. It's now possible to load multiple instruments into the key editor and work with them all at once. Let's dive straight in to see what's new. Prior to Dorico 4.3, the key editor view would follow your score selection when the link button was checked. In order to simplify things, we've removed that link button and the instrument loader in the key editor will continue to reflect what you have selected in the score. However, you can now also choose which instrument is loaded in the key editor by way of a new track selector control. If you don't want changes to the score selection to update the key editor, you can now lock the view with this padlock. This allows you to work freely in your score and retain the view you've set up in the key editor, even switching between write and play modes, perhaps to update the routing of a particular instrument. You can choose to work with a different instrument in the key editor and the view remains locked. Quickly toggle between locked and unlocked views with the new command, accessible in the jump bar and for which you can set your own key command. And when locked, you'll notice a new checkbox that allows you to view multiple instruments. Check the instruments you want to add to the key editor and you'll see their music appear in the piano roll. It can be very useful to see how your music is spread across the pitch spectrum and allocated to different instruments. To speed things up, you can make a selection across multiple staves in the score, then invoke the new lock key editor to selection command to open the key editor with the selected tracks locked in view. I've set an alias of LK for lock key editor which is especially handy being so close to the jump bar J key. The primary instrument will be the one most prominently displayed in the piano roll. However, notes from all instruments are editable. The colors of the notes relate to the colored dots by the instruments in the selector list, which correspond to their track color in play mode. If the instrument has multiple voices, you can still show the active voice using the control on the key editor toolbar. You can change which instrument is considered the primary, and we shall explore more what that means as we progress through the video. The real power of loading multiple instruments in the key editor is especially evident when it comes to working with the various velocity and MIDI controller editors. I can draw across velocity bars to edit all instruments' velocities at once, and the transform tool and histogram work for multiple instruments as well. When notes for multiple instruments occur at the same rhythmic position, the primary instrument is shown at the front of the stack. When viewing a MIDI CC editor for multiple instruments, drawing new points will add that automation data to all instruments, making it super easy to control the performance of whole sections of instruments. Where regions line up and match, they're shown in blue and their points are editable. Where the CC data differs between the instruments loaded in the key editor, their output lines are shown in their track color, again with the primary instrument most prominent and displaying its automation envelopes, but none of the points are editable. You can use the Sync Region tool simply by clicking an envelope to push the automation data of the primary instrument to all other instruments in the key editor. Once synced, those envelopes will turn blue and the individual data points will become editable with changes affecting all loaded instruments. You can also drag a marquee across a selection of points, and where that selection intersects with envelopes, the entire envelope will be synchronized. Alternatively, you can sync all of the data in an editor at once with this button. So if you have input automation for one instrument, this makes it easy to replicate to any other instrument. The Dynamics Editor works in just the same way, but any matching envelopes generated by Dynamics markings in the score will be shown in green as per usual. So that's viewing and working with multiple instruments in the key editor. We've transformed the usability of the key editor in a number of important ways. Firstly, as you will no doubt have noticed, it is no longer required to switch the active section between the piano roll and the expression and CC editors. Instead, all editors are operational at all times. You can now load any number of editors into the lower portion of the key editor and freely resize them. So it's possible to load editors for velocity, dynamics, and any number of CC lanes as you need. You can even show the tempo editor here as well. Add a new editor with this button and then choose what to display from the dropdown. Any CC lanes that already include automation data will be in the list, otherwise drill down to find the one you need. 
you can save the configuration of editors so they can be recalled easily in other projects. Editing notes in the piano roll is now much easier and robust as we now identify the type of edit you're intending to make and prevent unwanted changes of pitch or rhythmic position. When editing velocities, you can now choose to modify the velocity of all notes or only those that are selected. This makes it far easier to, say, increase the velocities of just the top notes in a series of chords. It was already possible to set the maximum range of the tempo editor, but we now make it more obvious when tempo data exceeds it. The transform tool and histogram now work in the MIDI CC editors, and that even includes when working with multiple instruments. In this example, I can sync the expression automation data across this whole group of instruments, and then select the highest sounding instrument and use the transform tool to bring out just the top line. A quick tip, if you're using two editors for the same thing, let's use velocity, you can set one to show the histogram and then see the effect your manipulations are having on the underlying data. In order to make it easier to line up your edits across the various editors and ensure you're writing data to the correct place, we now show a crosshair aligned to the mouse pointer in the key editor. Copy and paste is now much more robust. You can make selections in any part of the key editor and then paste to new rhythmic positions, even to different instruments or different editors. Dorico will know whether you're copying music within the score and thereby respecting your preference whether or not to copy automation data as well, or within the key editor. Expression data will be pasted to the active editor indicated by the highlighted track header. We've made it much easier to navigate the key editor with new zoom controls and scroll bars. The mouse pointer now updates to indicate the current tool. The key commands for changing the grid resolution now also work in the key editor, with Dorico knowing intelligently whether you're in the score or the key editor. And there are new key commands both for selecting tools, using Shift, Alt and the numbers 1 to 6, and zooming horizontally and vertically within the editors. I'd love to hear how you are using these new features, so please leave a comment and tell me which are your favourites. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button to be notified of our new videos. I'm Anthony Hughes, thanks for watching.